Oh my god, listen to that sound. There he went. It was too slow to get the kill. Trading wins out every time. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the fight against boredom. This is Ginger Binge. Today, I thought it would be fun to play a game mode that I have not played that much of. And that game mode is, of course, Starfighter Assault. So, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Generators contain quickly improvised tech. In certain places, highly susceptible to damage. Like I said, I have they not played this game mode that much. The enemy so the we knowledge of what I know about this is not that much. Pretty much the only thing that I have noticed so far is that. Uh, you hear a audible difference between playing in third player like this and um, there we go. between playing in third person like this and playing in first person. So if you take just a second to listen, or when I spawn back in, and I have no idea which. Starfighter is superior over the other because I really don't play this one that often. But I I do have fun when I do play it, so I guess there's that. It just speaks to how much fun Battlefront is overall. But what I was saying before I was murdered, uh, there's a difference in sound between third person and first person, such as when you're flying and shooting. And then if you play in first person, it sounds a lot different. Like you can hear a lot more bass Sensors indicate enemy in the blasters have and the just, you know, just small, small differences that are appreciated, I guess, because it doesn't sound exactly the same. No! And you, you may not even be able to tell unless you're wearing headphones. I like, for this mode at least, I, re I think it's a lot easier to to shoot people down in first person, but it's also a lot easier to get killed unfortunately. I really don't know what's going on, what the objective is, so I guess I'll just try and thin the enemy out. Going I mean, down. I'm assuming we're don't supposed to be defending these. We're losing those generators. We can't take much more of this. I guess that's what they are. Enemy ship down. Well, that must have been a hero ship. Just go out of it. The little force field thing it's putting out is kind of awesome. This is it. Oh my god. In case you haven't noticed by now, 
Uh, this is a lot different from the first Battlefront for Xbox and PS4. Uh, for Starfighter mode, because you have to, uh, you have to lead your shots. It doesn't automatically lock on anymore. And you do that by shooting at the circle that appears in front of your target. I'm gonna look after it. Take him out! I like the I like chasing people in first person a little more as well. Check your six. Hurts you a little more when you're lagging than in the other game modes, as you could imagine. And also, you'll see these little red arrows you see, those are the directions that your targets are going. So, if you follow those, you'll eventually find someone. I think it would be awesome to have like Anakin Bad news. because Anakin is a, is a very good pilot in the movies, even better pilot in the books, but you have to like to read in order to find those kind of little treasures out, which not everyone does. Reading isn't everyone's thing, which is okay. Actually, uh, Star Wars books is what got me into reading in the first place. I used to hate reading until I found the world of Star Wars. Oh, we can be a hero. Let's be Yoda, I guess. Oh, I wonder what first person is like in Yoda. Oh, head you oh wow. This is significantly different. Oh, you hear that echo of the shots? We're gonna get out of first person for throw ourselves though. That would be a sad day. They want to die. They've got it. Us. It's all about the fighters now. Keep taking them down. It's all about the fighters. I can do that. Dang, Yoda's ship feels so much. We are. Focus, you must. All fighters inbound. We've lasted this long, just a little more. Yoda's ship feels so much more powerful than than the other ones. But that's not like a hero. Dang it! Enoch Rad. Freaking little. Oh, 
We are pretty close to losing. So much going on right now. Defeat, I knew it. Darn it. Uh, I don't think I've played this map before. This one's kind of awesome. This looks like something directly out of a movie setting. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, listen to that sound. Slow to get the kill. Training wins out every time. I don't even pay, pay attention to what class this starship was. This is this is working out pretty nice for me. A Y wing squadrons appear. Do not allow them to complete their bombing run. First step in their plan will be to destroy our cruisers. Why wing bombers are getting through. They must be stopped. Ooh. <laughs> Would have been waiting all day for that to blow up. We can already be someone. What do we Hmm. Let's see if we can save up and be Darth Maul. I'm curious. I've been I've been to Slave One before. I'm curious about Darth Maul. Our defenses though. have sustained heavy damage. They can't take much more. Oh my God! You just hear that sound difference, man. Darn it! what you get for playing in first person idiot oh I know Boba Fett's available but I don't want to be him we gotta hurry up and get more points so we can be I'm so curious about what he's like he's one of my favorite heroes so I'm assuming his ship will be kind of cool It's like so much harder to hit people the third person. Damn, I'm gonna be so mad if he's gone by the time I get my points. How amazing this sounds. I'm playing with headphones, so everything is like going directly into my ear holes. Oh my god! I just want some freaking points! Leave me alone! I'll destroy it. That should slow down significantly. Points. Quit killing yourself. Well, I know I don't have any real talk either. Another shield generator has fallen. Wow, you can fly up into here. The enemy sent a wave of bombers. Generator remains. If it fails, the path to the Star Destroyer will open. 
Dang. Hey! Wow, that sounds so different. Oh my god, look at this. What in the world? What is this doing? What, am I invisible right now? Generator down. The dog Dang. is unshielded. Intercept their X wings. Failure Holy is crap. not an option. This ship is so intense. I'm not sure what that did. The Star Destroyer's shields remain intact, but the dock clamps powering them are vulnerable. We must defend them. That's so awesome they have their voices in the background. Out of hyperspace. We can't afford to engage it directly. Keep up defenses and hold for reinforcements. Uh. A Y Wing squadron's initiated its bomb run. Oh, wow, that comes back pretty fast, dunk. doesn't it? Oh. They've disabled our shields momentarily. Guard the Star Destroyer while we reinitiate systems. At last a challenge. God, don't kill me. Shields are back online. Prevent the rebels from disabling the power clamps. <laughs> That's it. Stop as many bombers as you can. Let's see if we can go find the Falcon again. Dang, someone is freaking on my butt. Falcon. For now, protect he the Star gone Destroyer far, while we bring them back online. Unless he's already been killed. Those Boba Fett ship was slave one. The Star Destroyer's reactor is on the brink of failure. Now is the time. Crush the rebels. That's a quick little burst, so you gotta be on your shot for that to count. See, like that total miss there. Strike them down. Shields down. Defend our destroyer while we repair the system. My god, that was horrible timing with the lag. The cruisers are down. We spawned in late to this place. Me all the way around the map. They deserve that one, I guess. 
Still don't know what I'm doing half the time in this game mode. Ooh. One of our blockade runners is taking damage. Defend it. We're making progress. Another down. Making headway. Oh, appreciate that. I think they almost had me. I really like how they've added those arrows, though, to tell you where where people are coming from and where they're going. We've lost the blockade runner. I don't like our chances if we lose another. Only one left. Both blockade runners are down. Oh, we need to go in there. That's a step in the right direction. Generators down. Stand by. Scanning for intel. I think that's really cool how you can fly in and out of those ships like that. And it's not just like, ooh, part of the background. Battle's over for them. Not unfortunate. The Star Destroyer shields remain up, but the dot clamps powering them are vulnerable. Disable them. The ship's taking a lot of hits. Be a nuisance to this guy. Losing. Our battle cruisers arrive right on time. Take out those defenses and watch his cannons. Trying to super work. hardcore to shake me. Key reinforcements are here. Why we hey. keep them safe? Hey, we can be Yoda again. Oh, I should have probably been Poe. Yeah, let's be Poe. Let's be something different. He's not as good as Yoda, though. Tell me where you need me. We're so close. Wow. Keep it up. The Star Destroyer's reactor is critical. It won't take much more. That was short-lived. Well, that is all the time that I have for this episode. I feel like I'm not the best when it comes to Star Fighter Assault but I do have fun while I'm playing it. Comment down below what your favorite Starfighter class is to play as and who your favorite Starfighter hero is to play as. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.